Hello, it's time to put the concepts we've learned so far together. Specifically, we're talking about the utility function, the marginal rate of substitution, and the budget constraint. When we combine these ideas, we're able to find an optimizing point where we can say the maximum amount of happiness we can get from two goods, in this case, potatoes and stew. To start, we have our utility function, u equals x1 to the 1 half times x2 to the 1 half. This will be helpful in finding our marginal rate of substitution. We're also told our two prices of these goods and the income that we face. Let's put these together. To start, let's find our MRS. The MRS of this utility function would be the marginal utility of x1 over the marginal utility of x2. The marginal utility of x1 is, again, the partial derivative with respect to x1. In this case, that's 1 half x1 to the negative 1 half times x2 to the 1 half. Additionally, we must find the marginal utility of good 2. That's 1 half x1 to the 1 half times x2 to the negative 1 half. Again, this equation on its own may seem daunting, but as we said before, we can get rid of these 1 halves and simplify given these exponents. When we do so, we're left with x2 over x1 as our MRS. If we're looking at a graph, here's our utility curve. This utility curve at any one given point has a tangent line whose slope is x2 over x1, as we've said here. What we're trying to do is optimize that given a budget constraint. In this way, we're trying to find the point where both the MRS and the slope of our budget line equate. The slope of our budget line is going to be P1 over P2, or our price ratio. At this blue point that we've highlighted here, where we're tangent to our utility curve, this price ratio, P1 over P2, and this MRS, or slope of our utility curve at that point, equate to each other. So we'll be left with x2 over x1 equals P1 over P2. Fortunately, in the question, we're given price of good one and price of good two. So we can say x2 over x1 is equal to 3 over 4. To isolate one of our variables, we can multiply both sides by x1 and get that x2 is equal to 3 fourths times x1. From there, we need to find a new equation in order to substitute this in so that we can figure out the optimal amount of good one and good two. That equation would be our budget constraint. Our budget constraint is built by multiplying the price of each good by the amount purchased of each good. In this case, this looks like P1 times X1 plus P2 times X2. In order to maximize our utility, we should be spending as much money as possible. This means the amount that we spend on both good one and good two combined should equal our income. Plugging in using the numbers we have available to us from the question, we can say 3x1 plus 4x2 
equals 12. This means using our equation that we found here, x2 equals 3 fourths x1, we can substitute in 4x2, 3 fourths x1. What that looks like is 3x1 plus 4 times 3 fourths x1 equals 12. These 4s cancel out, so we're left with 3x1 plus 3x1 equals 12. 6x1 equals 12, or x1 equals 2. This means the optimal amount of potatoes is 2 potatoes. In order to find the optimal amount of stew, all we need to do is plug this 2 back into this equation here. This means the optimal amount of x2 is equal to 3 fourths times 2. x2 is equal to 6 fourths. x2 is equal to 1.5. To recap, we took our MRS, we set it equal to our price ratio, we took this equation, plugged it into our budget constraint, and then solved for our optimal amounts of both goods.